next one is from Ben. The subject is low key. Hi guys, Ben the low key the wrestler. Ben, I've been a very happy monkey and a cupcake Patreon member just over three years, but only now writing my first mailbag question. Forgive me if you spoke about this before. If I was in Iran and missed it, but I believe you've never really spoke about low key in much detail. I watch an old TNA episodes and pay per views on YouTube. I've reminded myself how much I love low key. When I was a regular watcher of the company in the mid-2000s, to me, he was by far one of the best cruiserweights in the world back then. My question is why he's seemingly been forgotten by fans or not spoke about in the same heights as other greats such as Christopher Daniels, Brian Danielson, Jay Lethal, or Disco's favorite Shark Boy. Let's suspend hmm. the guy for, for a week for that. I believe Shark Boy is going to be at that uh, Impact 1000 as well. So I don't give a r- about that. Now you'll be looking into uh, that. Is it down to his charisma level and crowd connection? Was he a pain? deal with or was he simply just not as good as i remember him being thanks for all the great content you guys consistently provide it's given me many hours of enjoyable bike rides to and from work over the years that's from ben simpson an english guy living in amsterdam that's tremendous this guy's in amsterdam. amsterdam nice work shout out to amsterdam um he he was kind of a pain i, I don't know i i always had fine uh, you know i didn't have much of a relationship with the guy but it was always professional he was always fine to deal with and i i never saw any of the problems that i heard that he had during his career. I never, I never saw it. I knew he took it very, 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 very seriously, a little bit too seriously for my life. Okay. But you know, the guy was a good, the guy was a good worker and a good character. Yeah, it's very good. A good voice. You know, he was like a man. He was like, he was, even though he was, he was undersized, he was like a grown man out there. You know, well, what, what do you think, Cody? Any comments on this? Yeah. Well, Low key, his problem was like a lot of wrestlers, you know, he could be his own worst enemy. He did take himself too seriously, took wrestling too seriously. And he was known for beating up in the ring. And he wasn't a bully because he would go. But and he was very tough to deal with. And bro, Homicide said it best. You know, D said it best. He was his mentor. He would say, Brandon, that's his real name. Brandon is cool. Low key's a, you know, and I wanted to put him in LAX. And he had so much heat with Dutch and Jeff that they wouldn't let me do it. Then the second time I put him, the second time I came back, I was able to put him in for a little while. And I remember him and Jeff got into a real big fight because he was supposed to do this match, I, get, I think, against ADR for the world title. And, you know, and right. something happened and it didn't happen. And he was like, what the f***, no, man? Rio he promised me this. Sp- and then he got suspended, Conan. What? That's when he got suspended. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. And so then Jeff you know, like cut a promo on him. They both, and then Jeff tried to go off on me, you know, and he was, yeah, check your boy. And I go, no, f- that bro. He's asking you what plans you have for him. And you're basically telling him to go. Of course, the guy's going to get mad, but he was his own worst enemy. And that's the reason why you don't really see him booked that much. But one of the best characters I've ever seen. Very, very, very believable. We're yes. talking about low key, Pat Kenny. Ultra believable. Ultra believable. Yeah. yeah. 